it's Kaylee. The last time you saw me on this channel was probably when you were still in diapers, so I apologize for being absent for a very long time. Yeah. As you're watching this, it is the 1st of December, which means that it's the last month of 2017, and it's my birthday month, even though I'm not really celebrating my birthday for a whole month, but like people still like to call it, and like Christmas is coming, and a lot of other like this, like the weather is getting gloomy, the winter is here, like it's, I just, I just love, love Christmas and all these feelings and so I thought why not take this opportunity of having it being the last month of this year to film a video. Yes, I know, I haven't been on this channel for a really long time, I have been uploading my throwback vlogs on my second channel but this just... I don't know, I feel like I've been neglecting this, neglecting this channel and I just am really sorry for that. Like a week ago I've, uh, I've attended the YouTube Space pop-up event in Brussels for which I was invited. I still think they accidentally invited me and then was like... Oh. I've met some really lovely people there who were so good at making footage and making content and like I just subscribed to all the channels and it's just really nice but I felt like I was really out of place because I did not have the amount of content to show for it, which obviously like the amount, like quantity over quality is never a right thing, but I felt, you know what, I'm just gonna pick up my YouTube game again, and I'm gonna edit, film again, and edit again, and put it online, and do what I love doing, and that's making videos, and I don't really know what I'm not doing, what I love doing. So I decided to make a Goals for December video. My friend Rebecca did one for her last year in uni, a uh, resolutions goals video, you should check it out. And I'm also in my last year of uni and oh, things have not been going that great because I'm very stressed out a lot. So I figured why not make a goals video because if I tell other people my goals, they'll have to hold, they'll hold me to it. So I actually have to do it. So that it just sounds very logical to me. So yeah, that was a lot of rambling already. So I'm just gonna go right into that goals video. Yeah. Rebecca divided her goals slash resolutions into multiple um, like hats, so like what the theme is of that goal, I don't know how to explain it. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to do that too because Rebecca seems like a very put together girl and I want to be as put together as that girl. So here we go. Uh, first things first, I'm the realist. This is my health, these are my health goals. It's not a lot, but yeah. So my physical health is, I want to eat a lot healthier. Like I've moved uh, out of my parents' home last month after you know, living in Australia for a while. And in Australia I was being quite healthy because I just didn't really have money to buy a lot of junk food. And here I apparently just love junk food and I've gained a lot of weight. And I know like gaining weight is not the thing, but I just feel my body not really being at its highest potential. So I want to eat healthier. Like, which also means less meat. I've been eating a lot of meat and I do like vegetarian meat a lot. and. I just want to try and put that, like, make two days a week, not a meat day, you know? I just want to try it and see how that works for me. The other thing is I want to drink a lot more water because, again, my body is not doing well. And my body is telling me that it needs water. I also hope that helps with my skin because my skin is getting a lot of breakouts that I don't like it. And lastly, I want to go to the gym. Yes, this is a thing. It's usually a thing that people use as their... New Year's resolutions, but I've already signed up for the gym now, so I figured why not go? I'm trying to go tonight after school. Probably won't. I don't know. Like in Melbourne, I actually went to the gym quite a lot, and Kate helped me with my gym routine. And I know I just was a lot happier. I know that endorphins and all that shit. So I really need that. So I'm going back to the gym. And come on, it's like a 15 minute walk from my home. So why should I not go? It's because I'm lazy. That's why. My next goals are for my mental health. This, we all know that my mental health has not been the greatest the last couple of years and moving back to Holland um, turned my brain to big old mush and I like, two days ago I had the worst mental health day and I was crying nonstop and I had to go to work and I just was like, nah, 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 I'm not doing this. I want to get back to the strong me that I was whilst backpacking. So here we go, I'm going to try and do that. First things first, I want to do... I want to relax more. I want to. We have a bath in our student home. Like, who has a bath in their student accommodation? I do. And I've never been in it. Like, I've lived here for a month now. And I've never been into the bath. And I have bath bombs. Like, what a 
am I doing in my life? I want to get in a bath and I also want to read more. Because as a kid, I used to read a lot. I used to stay in from recess and read. That also was mostly because I didn't have any friends. So I want to keep on doing that. Not the non-friends part, but maybe try to read one book in December. Is that a thing that I can do? Read a book in December? I think so. I think I can do that. And um, then the th next thing is keeping my living space clean. Because I know that when my room is a mess, my mind is a absolute crappy mess. The as I said, I had a really bad mental health day a few days ago, and my like I couldn't get out of bed mentally, but also not physically because my entire floor was covered in clothing and shit. I don't even know what it was. So, and now like yesterday, I've cleaned my entire room and I feel a lot better as well mentally, which is really weird. I don't know how I, this coincides, but. Yeah, I want to keep this whole space clean so that that is not the reason for my shitty mental health and it's most likely just my life. And when I want to bring people over, I want to look have them go in my room and be like, yo, this is my room and not be, oh, sorry, you can't go in my room because it's quite smelly and my shit is all over the place. Yeah. And lastly, on my mental health subject, I said I want to plan more and stay organized. I've got these three nice little clipboards I want to hang on my wall and like, I'm really bad at blood journaling because I feel like everything needs to be pretty and I just spend a lot of time making things pretty instead of like blood journaling. My friend Jasmine is really good at it, so kudos to you, Jasmine. But I'm gonna try and kind of blood journal on my uh, clipboards, like on the wall. So I have three clipboards and I'm gonna make one for the, wall, for the month, one for the week, and one for the day. And I hope that things will work out. Not sure, but let's try. Next is my uni, because I am in my last year of uni. Yay, I'm almost done with my first semester and things have not been going well. Not, mostly because of the planning, because I'm just stuck at planning. And I work a lot and I feel like work is taking more than uni, which sucks because I need to, I need to get my degree, so that's not really good. So this month I want to finish my script for my short film, which is needed. I already finished my treatment. Not last night and I'm so excited to start the script and next I want to be three-fifths done with my research. I know three-fifths is a really weird decimal because this semester I have to do research for what I'm going to do in my final project and for my final project I'm writing a series, TV series, I'm writing the script for that um, and I'm really excited for it. I'm actually going to Brighton the day after you see this um, to do research because I want to um, either place my series in Brighton or London and I'm just really excited for this so I really need to do that because I need to finish that the end of January my research I want to be about three fifth done now and then finish the last bits before have my semester finished yay and lastly at school area I want to figure out how to find directors that are not in my class because everyone in my class wants to graduate um, as a screenwriter and director but I obviously just want to be a screenwriter and, I've, and when I've finished my script for my short film, I don't know who to ask to film it, uh, to direct it, to make it, to make it a reality. So I really want to figure out how to move on after this year and get my shit out there and get people to make my shit. I should not be pitching. That was a really weird pitch. Really bad. Next things up is social media goals. Because I am a basic white girl. And I like social media a lot, as you must have noticed at me. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, but you probably should. Because they're great. Uh, for social media, I want to write four blog posts because I don't know if you know, but I have a blog which is called which is on cdwrite.com. I made it before going to Australia because I thought, oh, I'm going to blog a lot when I'm in Australia. But I didn't. I don't know if you see a motive here, but I'm just really bad at finishing things that I've started. I feel like the summer is a perfect time to write blog posts because you got really inspired, you have a lot of things to write about, because Christmas and all the things that I mentioned in the beginning. So yes, I'm really excited to write these. Secondly, I want to do Vitmus. Yes, it is a thing I just said and I feel really scared about it. Which um, usually people do Vlogmas in December, which means they're vlogging every day until Christmas, but I'm not up for that game. I've tried that before. I can't edit that much. So I want to do fitness, which means that I'm uploading a video every day before Christmas. Yeah. Um, 
which I'm gonna do on both my main channel, which is this channel you're on right now, hello, and on my second channel, uh, Behind the Bee. I don't know if I'm gonna keep up with it, but I've made a whole list of plans and things that I wanna do, so I'm really excited to do it, and I hope it's gonna work out. Rowan, stop tweeting when I'm filming a video, okay? Stop it. So I wanna upload a video every day of December until Christmas, and I don't know, maybe I'll succeed, maybe I won't. It's gonna be a big mystery, big cliffhanger, and you all will figure it out if you watch my videos. And the last thing on my social media goals list, it's gonna sound very ridiculous, but I wanna upload at least three photos on Instagram a week. Why, you ask? Because I just love my Instagram theme. The last things uh, that I wanna talk about are my financial goals, because I'm a broke as fuck student, which sounds weird because I just spent a shit ton of money on Black Friday that I didn't have. Like, this is sure it's from Black Friday. It's real cute. I like it. Yeah. So, first things first is not spend my money on stupid things. That is kind of what I do with my entire budget, and it's bad. So, yes, I'm just gonna spend money on food and life support and, like, a shelf that I really need up on that wall. And other than that, Christmas presents. But other than that, I'm gonna like stay very cool. Like I don't need a shit ton of things for my life. Next up is I wanna save up for money after I'm done with uni. Because after uni, I wanna go and travel. I wanna like maybe go back to Australia, probably travel through America, see all of Europe, and do all the nice things. But I can't do that if I don't have money. I also just like. I don't know, want to be an adult. And like, you can't do that without money either. Money is, why is money this important in people's lives? And lastly, talking about finishing uni, I want to figure out what I, what I want to be when I finish uni. I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to do with my life, and I feel like I'm the only person in my class that doesn't know what I want to do with my life. So I want to figure that out. That's it. That was my goals for December video and as you have heard in my goals I don't know if you've listened to it that much but it's fine uh, this will be my first video of 25 this month and I'm scared yes very very scared but maybe I'll work out maybe it won't but it's an experience and let's see if I can work out this okay let's see if I can keep up with my goals in the end of the month I'll come back to you and be like yeah I did it or no I didn't and it will just be a whole life-changing experience for me, for you, so you can be like, Kaylee, did you save your, did you really spend your money on this thing? And I'm like, yeah, sorry. It's like, it's, it's like a mutual thing. We can talk about life together. Good thing. Speaking of mutual things and talking about life together, what are your goals for this month? Are you, are you the person who makes goals each month? Or are you like the person who just makes a life goal? Or are you waiting until the 1st of January so you can make New Year's resolutions? How does it work? How does your goal life work? I'm an, I am an antler. And that's basically it. Bye guys.